What is up guys, Eddie Nasty here, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today for a tutorial, I asked earlier on Twitter what kind of redstone tutorial I should do against a automatic trash can or my redstone torch scoreboard. And to a 5 to 1 vote, the scoreboard wins. Now, you can see this is a this is a little big, but it's not that big. It, I'll, I'll explain how you can hide it. <clears throat> and what's going on here. First off, for this redstone torch scoreboard, this is a sand-based one. This uh, The sand will actually count as the point. And uh, you can see in the title I have this as part one, so I have a second part coming to this, which is a different style of scoreboard. So just hold on to your pants and wait for the second part to come out if you want to have questions for like a different style of scoreboard, because I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. Alright, so first off, right here where the sand would drop, you can see I have a regular piston with a power source coming right here from a torch and a repeater. And right there with this little pillar of sand, or not sand, but wool, uh, that's where the sand would drop from. Once the sand drops down, it powers this uh, redstone dust, which powers this block, and has a torch right there. When that torch turns off, it updates that piston and forces it to, well, do this. Push it. Very small and compact for as far as like right here. My other design, I had wire just come around here as a loop, but I think this is a little bit more smaller and compact as far as what I had it. The sand right there with the torches underneath them just kind of like float above it, so the torches count as a whole block, even though it's not really a block, but it counts as a block and holds the piston, or not the piston, but the sand above it. I'm really sorry about saying these wrong, but um, the sand block is powered, which powers that repeater, and then powers that torch right there that turned it off, and then as you can see, you just go up with it. Like, you add another wool block, put a redstone torch on it, so when that torch is off, it would turn that on, and then vice versa, and vice versa. So you would build this part with the torches going up, like against a wall, like where you want to put your scoreboard at, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's as far as the compact side of the whole mechanism, is you can build this part as tall as you want, so you can hide this whole thing like down in the ground somewhere so like let's say wherever they were putting the sand in to come down as a score or something could be like way up there and then you can move these torches like all the way up in a certain way um, yeah so this little the system will actually go up to 12 right now I have it at 10 and um, yeah, so when you get up to like 12 and everything, you're going to have to put like a piston right here that pushes it automatically that way or that way or however you want to do it to stretch it. And I might work on making it do something like that for you guys and uh, cover the basis of that. Um, at the end, you would just put like a torch right there and make them drop down and break if you actually put this on a normal world instead of like what I have here, this void. Um, once you get up to 10, you can see I have a reset right here, which is just a row of sticky pistons and redstone dust going right next to it. Um, when you power a piston above it with the redstone dust, it does not have to be connected because it is on top of the piston. That actually updates it and um, pushes it, like, let's see, it powers it and then pulls it down or let go of it. The sand will not stick to a sticky piston like hold onto it but it will pull it up and break it because it falls down back onto the torches boom 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 10 points and like I said I will have a part 2 to this so I will cover the basis of a different style one that does not involve sand it actually just involves an input from a redstone source. So I hope this redstone tutorial helped you guys. On another note I wanted to tell you talk to you guys about is my redstone world. I can't find it no more on my Xbox. I think 
the map got corrupted or got oversaved or something or I don't know what happened to it. I didn't I wasn't thinking. I didn't make a backup for it like I do all my mini games and other stuff I have. But for some reason I didn't back it up and it got lost from me changing maps from different storage units. So um I'm going to have to restart on it. I hope that you guys don't mind that I do that. I might actually put this up for download for you guys because I'm going to restart on my uh, Redstone World and get it where I can update it for you guys. And um, if you ever want, always want the updated link, always check out the new video because that's how I'm going to do it is put a new link there. And then um, eventually I'll probably go through and change all the links for you guys. But for a while I'm just going to add a new link, add a new link, and then go through and change them all when I get the actual world done and complete it with all the tutorials I've put in before because I've got other things I'm working on like my mini games and maybe some survival and uh, just some other stuff but uh, yeah so I'm Eddie Nasty and I will catch you guys later see ya